Well, after eight minutes of looking, and that's no joke, it, it took me about eight minutes of absolute silence and frustration, I finally found an EITC Sentinel. Oh my fucking god. And I actually had to look it up. No joke. I actually had to look up where this bitch was. And it basically said it was in the safe waters between uh, Port Royal, Cuba, and Raven's Cove. So pretty much going... Uh, Southwest, I would say. The southwest direction of this map. But still, it's so frustrating. And if you watch anyone else play this game in a playthrough sort of style, man, if they do not cut out the the sailing for the most part, like, oh my fucking god, dude. Like, why are you even watching? Because this is just terrible. This is this is painful. Like, for me to go through this and try and find these stupid ass ships, it's it's a pain in the ass. And I think I see another one now. Like, I'm finally in the right area. But Jesus Christ, this was this, this was such a pain in the ass. I think the, the major problem here... And I don't know if it was like this back in uh, the original Pirates of the Caribbean Online. But the render distance is just terrible. And it doesn't load up everything until you've actually touched that area. But once you do, as you can see in the far off distance, you can see names and stuff. I think the only downside to that is that my frame rate is just below 10. It's terrible. But, yeah, man, I mean, I, I don't know. Aside from that, uh, if, if the ship is rent... Why am I not moving forward? If the ship is in your render distance, like, if you can see it, regardless of how fucking far away it's at, there should be a shining light on it. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Until you're, like, real close, usually. But still, what a pain in the ass. That's something that needs to be addressed. I don't know if it was like that back in the original. I really don't. But that's just terrible. That's just horrible design. So we gotta go find one more. I'll go find it. No worries, guys. I, f I have this finally under control, as far as I'm concerned. Well, finally done with that. All right, I need to get the... Okay, not... Don't want to be on that. I need to get the fuck out of here, because there's a lot of big-ass ships. So, we'll head back to Port Royal. I do have loot, and that's why I'm going to sail back to Port Royal. It's not the best loot, but it's something. And, I mean, I spent the time running around trying to find specific ships. The ships that I did destroy, which were those ten, did drop some loot. So, I'll take the loot, head back to Will Turner, see whatever we got to do next. But, dear God... That was, uh, that was something. I really do not like the ship quests. I'm, I'm now coming to that conclusion that I really do not like the ship quests. I'd rather do just one thing and one thing only, and that's run around and kill people. Or enemies, or, or whatever it may be. Because that seems to be the only working thing for the most part. But yeah. Let's, uh, let's head back to Will Turner. Alright, what did we get from all this? Uh... Uh, I'll just take it all. And I'll sort through it later. I mean, we got some gold. A little bit. Um, we did get a blunderbuss, which I'm not really a big fan of the blunderbuss, but I, I guess it's something. And we did get this shirt. And you know what? We, we need something different to wear, so we'll wear this shirt. And we also have this vest right here that I think would look just a little bit better. Maybe. I mean, whatever. We... we we just need to look a little different now. I mean, change isn't necessarily a bad thing. And it's probably best for some change here and there. Alright, Will Turner. After half an hour of doing whatever the fuck I was doing, I'm finally back. Thanks for the 200 XP. The East India Train Company controls all the finest silver. Good information. So, looks like we have to go to... The Tortuga Graveyard. Alright, I mean, I kind of do need to go back to Tortuga and turn in the quest for Carver, so in a way, this all works out. I have no idea if this is the last thing I need to do. I think it is? And then it's kind of like a back and forth thing with Will Turner and Elizabeth Swan? I don't know. Regardless, we're going to Tortuga. Alright, now that we're back on Tortuga, the first thing we're going to go do is visit Carver and see... What he wants us to do next. I don't think these quests are similar from here on out. But still, I mean, 
Let's go turn in what we what we have so far and see what he wants us to do next, I guess. It can't be anything too difficult. Hopefully. I'm hoping that it's nothing too difficult. I'm theorizing that it's nothing too difficult. And by that, I just hope to God he doesn't give us a ship quest. Because that would be terrible. Well done, but unfortunately that was the easy part. It comes to my attention, or it has come to my attention, that there's another gent looking for our friend, Mr. Pidgeley. It would be best if his search was called off, so I've added his name to your journal. Make haste, there is no time to spare. Alright. Uh, he wants us to go to Thieves' Den here on Tortuga and kill some Navy guards and some guy named Claude. So I guess we'll be waiting until next time for that. I mean, look at that. That's 500 XP. That doesn't get us to the next level, but that's a lot. So we'll do that next time. For now, we'll do the... Uh, all the whatever the hell it is that we have to do here. Looks like we have to get a bucket of coal. And we have to kill 14 undead brutes. And 14 undead witch doctors. Which could be some great practice for one of these weapons I have. Alright, the Tortuga Graveyard. Last time we were in a graveyard, it was in Port Royal, and we had to uh, do a similar thing to what we're doing now. We have to kill some skeletons, and honestly, I think this is the same layout as, um, as the Port Royal Graveyard, I think. Uh, I don't think there's anything over here that I need to kill. There is a, um, an alligator over there. That is pretty high leveled and is a boss, so... I could kill it. I really could. I'm not just saying that to seem tough or anything. I can kill it because I am over leveled for this location. And I, I would say that so are my weapons. Um, I really don't know what I want to use here. The pistol, or the, the shooting in general, could really use the help. Because it's, it's falling behind, needless to say. Maybe I do need the blunderbuss. I, I could continue to just use this shitty-ass pistol. Because the muskets are terrible. The blunderbusses are terrible. I guess I'll make do. I, I, I don't know. I should work up on the shooting. Well, the take aim really uh, does the job there. But look at that reload speed. It's so terrible, man. I mean, it does a lot of damage, but so does the Witch Doctor on me. I'd have to switch through weapons, and I don't really know if I want to do that. Man, I think I'm going to have to save the shooting for a uh, an off-camera grind, because this is going to take me way too long. Alright, well, I, I think for my sake, I am just going to switch to the Cutlass and get things done as fast as I can. And hopefully not die in the process. Now, I remember doing this on stream, this exact quest. I would go back and forth between this witch doctor and this brute. This same location, except I was using the uh, the voodoo doll. This was, of course, on my main. And since I'm using the cutlass, seems, <laughs> seems as if there's not enough time for the brute to actually respawn here. So, I mean, it gives me time to heal up. But, yeah, I did this on stream. I was just going back and forth. It does take a little bit of time because it's 14 of these guys. Meaning I'm having to kill 28 of these skeletons. Which is really unfortunate. But hopefully using the Cutlass we can get it done pretty damn fast. As uh, I am actually coming close to the time that I would like to end this session. I'm actually having to rely on an actual time instead of the time that shows in the top left with DX Tour. You guys can't see it. It's overlaid just for me. And um, the reason why I can't rely on that is because there are long periods of time where I'm not speaking. And those periods of time will be cut out of the video. So I can't rely on that. And also, I keep crashing. I've only crashed once this time. But every time I crash, it basically resets that, that time that's being shown in the top left. Because I have to redo the recording every time. So I've gone out of luck. I have to rely on an overall time. So, whatever time it is right now, I rely on. And, uh, hopefully that makes the editing process a little bit better. Because I want these episodes to be on a, um, an equal length of some sort. Like, 15 minutes or whatever. 
what I usually go for in videos. I don't want one episode to be like 25 minutes and the other be like 13 minutes. That is way off. But I'll get this done, guys. If there's anything I feel like I need to bring up, I'll uh, randomly start talking. So they haven't fixed this glitch where for some reason in some battles after I'm done fighting, I can't move. So I have to put my weapon away and then redraw it. I don't know why it's like that. There's a belt right here. It's really hard to see if that's a better belt than what I already have, so I guess I just won't pick it up. But um, I was going to ask if any of you guys are playing this game, what are you thinking of the game so far in its current state? I feel like we should have a uh, little discussion while I'm grinding away at these enemies here. I think I did similar, you know, uh, commentary when I was doing Toontown Rewritten because at that time, I wasn't editing my videos at all. I wasn't cutting anything out. I'd keep everything together, meaning if I was waiting for a cog building or something, I'd have to somehow keep on talking. I don't know how I did it back then, but whatever. Um, yeah, how are you guys liking everything so far in the uh, semi-open beta? I honestly think it's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, so many issues, but I mean, there's just, it shows that there's room for improvement with this server. There's a lot of lag in terms of uh, frames and the server, but, you know, the same thing was with Toontown, and that's no joke. It was like that with Toontown. I rem I don't even know how Fraps even held up. I was using Fraps back when I did Toontown Rewritten, back when that was in the semi-open beta. Even when it released in the actual open beta, it would keep on um, going into a uh, uh, not responding phase. I'm surprised that it kept on recording and that Fraps actually held up because Fraps is just, it's its a messy program. I'm glad I'm not using that anymore. To anyone that's asking, I'm using a program called uh, DxTory. I think I uh, already said that earlier in my previous topic. But yeah, I'm using DxTory, a much better program for recording in my opinion. Something cool that it does, it actually uh, separates the audio tracks so the game audio track is uh, separate from my commentary audio track so when I drag it into Vegas it uh, it has them separated and look at that level 11 it makes editing a lot easier especially when I feel like the game sounds are too loud compared to my commentary here's an example this playthrough right here every time I drop I drag and drop a, uh, a Talapo clip or whatever a session, I guess you could say, into Vegas, I always reduce the game volume by 5 decibels because it's too loud compared to my commentary. It's not louder than my commentary, but having both audio tracks play at the same time, like a video should, um, it's it's kind of messy. It's kind of it's harder to understand what I'm saying, and it's harder to... Uh, I don't know. I just feel like what I'm doing right now is uh, the best. I think I do the same thing with Toontown. And then again, just the Toontown sounds I've got like really low in general. But it's whatever. Um, I'm not recording that game anymore. If um, if there's anyone here that's watching and it doesn't play, they don't play Toontown, I, uh, I commend you. Toontown rewritten's got pretty bad recently. At least in my opinion. Uh, but then again, I am done with the game. I'm at the end game. There's nothing else for me to do. So, I don't know if anyone's here from Toontown. I mean, that's that's cool. But if you aren't, that's pretty interesting. I find that uh, a little weird in a way. But I think that's pretty awesome. These two games, Toontown and Pirates, I consider to be like sister games. They never competed with each other because they were both ran by Disney. So, I mean, there's that. All right, so while we go and look for a, uh, for a, uh, whatchamacallit, a witch doctor, we need to search somewhere for some coal. I almost forgot about that. I was going to leave here without that. We do need a bucket of coal, which we found conveniently in a barrel. And here's our final witch doctor. It didn't take me that long. And look, I'm, I'm actually almost on level 8 for, for the sword. I might as well just get that leveled up before we uh, take off and head back to William to finish up the dagger quest. Because I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm pretty sure this is all I need to do. So I'll level this up. 
and we'll head back to William. And there we have it. Level up for sword. What can we do? It looks like we have brawl. Fight dirty. Deal 15 to 29 damage. Disables an enemy for 2 seconds. Alright. We're getting into the moves that I actually had no idea existed because these are uh, things that, like, I don't think you could have gotten past level 7 without having a membership back in the day. And again, what do I know? It's been so long. So I can't really recall that well, but I guess we're getting into the part of the game where I'm, I'm learning things. I'm, I'm getting new moves. I'm doing quests I've never done. It's, uh, it's moving past nostalgia and getting into, like, experiencing, you know, stuff that's new to me. Which is pretty cool. I'm sure a lot of you, this is just like complete nostalgia. All of this you've seen before. I don't know. Back to Port Royal we go. Alright, William. I'm back with all your random shit. Thanks for the 300 rep. Those tongs aren't mine, but they will do. Alright, so now we gotta go visit Elizabeth Swan. I don't know why. Uh... Look in on Elizabeth while Will forges the knives. Oh, so I guess we got everything. We have to just go back and see Elizabeth. I'm not sure if there's anything else we need to do. I think we're done. But if she has me go out and fight ships or destroy ships, I don't think we're getting this done. And I feel like that's the deal. I think she's going to be like, oh, go destroy this ship or, or, or something. And I'm going to be like, well, bitch, I would rather not because... I already had my fill of destroying ships in this session. I'll wait until next time to uh, do the uh, suicide-inducing quest. I actually have no idea what we're doing next year because we're only 63% done. I'm pretty sure they're going to have me do something else. I just don't know what. I don't remember. Even so, I just did this the other day. Alright, sit down. Listen to this. I'm glad you're here. There's news of my father. A trusted friend told me that the EITC has intercepted a message intended for my father, the governor. It may be a clue I have been searching for. Recover the message and I will honor our agreement. I have to find an EITC Corvette ship. Okay, that's the only ship I need to destroy. I can do that. I only have like nine more minutes until my set time to stop recording, but that's fine. I've seen some EITC ships. I'm probably not going to see them now, now that I need to look for them. But I have seen them. I can find one, destroy one, get what you need, come back here, run to you, run to Will, and then probably run back to you again, and we'll be good. We'll be finally done with this. We'll have the dagger, and that'll be it for this session. Which means I get to grind the dagger on my own time. I actually think since I'm grinding my weapons for whatever reason, uh, I think I'll be on a higher level than my main. On my main, I'm not grinding at all. I'm just I'm just playing through the quests and preparing myself for whatever comes next. But all right, let's go find ourselves a Corvette. Wish I could do that in real life. That'd be uh, a fun time. Well, after seven or so minutes of looking around for this bitch, I finally found it. I really hate... Okay, of course. That never works. I really hate these quests now. They're just so terrible. I really hate these quests. But it's one ship, and I think this is the last thing we gotta do, so I'm I'm willing to do it even so it's past the time that I uh you know wanted to stop at. It's actually not even past, it's like one minute till, but it's going to be past. But it's fine. We'll get this done. The ships are still really fucking buggy. Like what the It's such a such a pain in the ass after a while. I swear. It's also really hard to uh, uh, fire consistently when you only have like 10 FPS and it doesn't register all your fucking clicks. I hope, I can only hope, that all these issues are later addressed. Just like they were in Toontown Rewritten. And now, we're going to return to Port Royal. Alright. Let's go see Elizabeth Swan. I hope that I do not crash at all for the rest of this session. Reason being is because I am uh, I'm so close to, to the end of this session that I, I, I honestly, it, it, would, uh, it would hurt me. 
if we crashed. It really would. But here we go. I think there's only like two more things that we need to get done here. And it's just going back and forth, I think. Let's see. Elizabeth Swan, we are back. Oh, thank you. I owe you a great debt. Your knives should be finished. Return with them, and I will teach you. All right, so it is a back and forth kind of deal. So, let's go see Will. All right, Will. Give me the items. These are some of the finest knives I've ever made. I pray they'll be used in the service of Elizabeth Swan. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, so we have to deliver the knives, and that'll be it right there. You can see that. By turning this quest in, we will get the dagger. Finally! <sighs> this has been a painful session, but I, I guess I did have some fun. We accomplished a little bit more in the main overall uh, quest line, which is the Black Pearl stuff. We didn't really accomplish much, but we also did... Um, we did get the teleportation for Tortuga, but then again, I kind of did all the hard work on my own. All I did was turn it in <laughs> here in the recording session. Um, and we also, after the uh, the pain that I went through, we're finally going to get the dagger, the fourth weapon of the six weapons that we can get in this game. We will not get the next weapon, the grenades, until level 20. So... We have a while to go until uh, we need to spend more time towards that. I don't know when we're going to need to get teleportation for Port Royal or any of the other places, but I'm sure that'll come up eventually. So 500 XP. Dear, well, dear Will does the finest work. You have begun the journey toward the mastery of the deadly art of the dagger, but this journey has only just begun. Continue to practice, and your skills will improve. So if we go in here, we do have the dagger and once we're on level four i guess we can get this oh wait maybe i'm not sure these are the same attacks uh, i i honestly don't know but whatever uh i guess let's go try it out get it on level two i'm tired of these dumb samsung notifications i always get i really don't care about them so we'll go try the dagger out unless I crash right here. Yep, that's it. Done. Hey guys, this is a uh, post-recording message that I'm doing. I'm like in the middle of editing and I thought that I should do some sort of, you know, formal conclusion to the uh, session here. I just got really triggered and plus I crashed there as you guys could probably already tell. So I'm sorry about that, but that just wasn't that good of a session for me, but I, I at least gave it my all. Hope you guys did enjoy these episodes. I'm I'm only recording this to say, you know, all right, thanks for watching and all that. So I, I am thankful for you guys watching, and uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this session. I also want to wish you guys all a uh, Merry Christmas and all that, because uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure these videos will be uploaded before Christmas, but you never really know. I don't know when you guys are going to watch these videos, so I'd like to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. And if Christmas already passed, then... Uh, I hope you had a good Christmas or a good holiday, and I hope you guys are looking forward to the new year just like I am. Thank you very much for watching, boys and girls. My name is Michael SK, and I guess I'll see you next time with uh, The Legend of Pirates Online. Hopefully no more ship quests or any more crashing garbage.